The narrative that the series tells is a very simple one. He talks about the African Americans or the black people who are in the South who slowly, slowly realized that there was a world outside of the South that they might be able to go to where their lot might be different. In that first migration, that in a sense, what happens in our country and probably any country is that change does not happen unless there is stress or pressure for that to happen. And the fact that um, black people were moving from the south to the north were, were two very distinct issues. Obviously, there was Jim Crow, but as much as leaving something, they were going towards something. They were going toward what they considered to be more jobs, more opportunity. I think that he was a child of the Great Migration because, not that he lived in the South, because he actually never lived in the South, but because the community that surrounded him was comprised of those people of the Great Migration. And one thing I will say is that in this uh, exhibition, he's not doing a historical narrative. He's doing what he saw out his windows, what he experienced on the street. My family was a part of the second Great Migration. They came to the Northwest during and before World War II. My grandfather came here to work in the shipyards. He came so he could own his own home. and. That was not something that you could do very readily if you were not, say, in a certain class in the South. Jacob would have found himself to be part of the Great Migration because he lived among those that were um, rigorously a part of it. This is a monumental work of art. And it's here on loan from the Museum of Modern Art in New York and the Phillips Collection in Washington, D.C. They share this series, interestingly. There's enough of a story in each half that if you go to those museums, you get the story, but you rarely get to see the whole series together, and that's what's really special about this opportunity. These are two of the most emotionally charged pictures in the show. They say everything that you could possibly say about grief. The Migration series began as a series of captions. It began as a story. And they, they're very kind of conversational. They're also very matter of fact. But the pictures then show you what the facts can't possibly tell. The series ends on two hopeful notes. One is, in the North, the African American had more educational opportunities. And then finally, the other hopeful note is, in the North, they had the freedom to vote. Um, and that says it all. I feel like anyone that comes to the show can find a place in a way that he or she can fit into this history. Be joyful that we have triumphed over something that is part of our history that might not necessarily be something we're so proud of.